Now, this is a song for you Green Day fans, uh, or maybe this would be for the non-Green Day fans. This was on their fifth album, I think it was their fifth album, called Nimrod, which was released in 1997. Um, this song uh, actually is good riddance, parentheses, time of your life. Uh, you never actually hear him sing good riddance in the entire song. For most people who aren't big fans of Green Day, we just assume this song is called Time of Your Life, which it is, but that's actually half the title. Anyway, so if you're familiar with this song, you know that uh, Billy Joe Armstrong, he's the, uh, the leader of Green Day, who sings this song and performs the song in the video, um, he, he begins with this little guitar riff, and that's what I've begun the arrangement with, which is just this. So that takes care of measures one all the way through to the end of measure eight. So that's a lot of music that we've just taken care of. And I can just really just explain very simply what's happening there. It's one roll. This is the roll. Look at my right hand. That's the roll all the way through it. If you've got the tablature, you can figure it out. You don't necessarily need to to see what my right hand is doing specifically, the tab will tell you. Um, as far as the fretting goes over this section, there's, there are just two fretted positions I'm gonna be playing through this little guitar riff sequence. So look at my left hand. I'm gonna play all the way through to measure eight, so. Measure three. So what am I doing in measure three? I'm playing this chord, which is actually, it's, it's a modified version of a C major chord. That's C major, but we're doing this. We're, we have our ring finger off that first string, second fret. So this type of C that you hear right now, that's the kind of C that you hear in a lot of pop songs, where they, ha they have this D note ring out. You hear a lot of pop songs that use this form of C. So that's what we're playing in measure three as far as our fretting goes. And then in measure four, we're doing this incomplete D chord where we're, we're just fretting the third string second fret with our index finger and the second, second string third fret with our middle finger. So in measure four, we're playing this roll over this position. Right? And then measures five through measure eight are a repeat of measures one through four. So measure five. Measure six, now play that incomplete uh, C chord on measure seven. Measure eight, this weird incomplete form of D. Now we're at the point where he starts singing. If you know the song, this is where he sings another turning point of fork stuck in the road, right? Um, so he begins. I begin, not he, not he, I begin with this little slide here, right? So what I'm doing is I'm sliding from the second fret to the fourth fret on that third string while I'm pinching the first string with my middle finger, the third string with my index finger, and the fifth string with my thumb, okay? So it sounds like that. So it kind of has this country kind of sound. Okay, that's all of measure nine, and that's where Billy Joe starts his vocal. Another. Now, measure 10. Right, you notice I did a hammer on? You notice after the hammer on, that's the second of the third fret on the second string, I have to immediately go back with my index finger to that first fret of the second string. Watch this. And lyrically, this is Turning point. Now, measure 11. All right, I'll do that again. And that's fork stuck in, right? Fork, fork stuck in the road. Sometimes I don't sing the entire measure because it's hard to sing and pick at the same time. Um, now watch this, measure 12. This note here, which is the first note of measure 12, is road, fork stuck in the road. Watch this, measure 12. 
Now watch this, measure 13, we use our index finger, which was on that second fret, third string in measure 12, we use him, or her, and we slide out. Again, doing that same pinch with that slide that we did in measure 9. And actually, measure 13 is exactly like measure 9. Watch this. Now, that last part that I played, that was measure 14. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Because we played it in measure 10, the exact same thing. Hammer on. Right? This is Tom grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. Now measure 15. Directs you where to go. Watch this. Okay, we're doing that hammer on. We've done this already in another measure. Go, right? That was measure 16. Okay, now we come to this chord in measure 17, which is an E minor. Now we're not going to strum that. I'm just strumming it because I want you to hear the full chord. So this is the part lyrically where he goes, So make the best of this test and don't ask why. Right, so we're going to go measure 17. Release that chord. Then you're going to do a hammer on on that second string, second fret to the third fret. Measure 19, watch this. We're gonna throw that index finger right behind the middle finger on this first string, second fret. Right, so that's test and test and don't ask why is basically what, where this is lyrically in the song. Okay, that note that I just landed on is the first note of measure 19. Right, so the rest of measure 19. Right, we're doing that same slide from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret on that 3rd string. Measure 21, we do the E minor chord again. Right. Now measure 22. Sounds familiar? We've done it already, that was measure 18. It's just a, uh, basically a, a retread of measure 18. And then Again, we throw that middle finger right behind the, the uh, throw the index finger right behind the middle finger on the first string, second fret. I'm sure that sounds familiar too, because we did this in measure 19. Okay? Measure 24, watch this. Okay, so we're right up to the part of the song where he goes, it's something unpredictable, but in the end you'll find. So what I'd like to do, because this is a perfect point to do this, uh, is to play everything up to this point. I'm not going to do the guitar riff, which is measures one through eight. I'm going to just do where he starts singing the vocal up to where we just ended, which is uh, the end of measure 24. So watch this. Here we go. Starting at the beginning of measure nine. So measure 25 all the way through to the end of measure 31, actually the beginning of measure 31, is something unpredictable, but in the, end you'll, in the end you'll find, I hope you have the time of your life, or I hope you have the time of your life. So um, that's basically all that's left lyrically. So here's what we got. We're going to do measure 25. That was measure 25 and 26 together. So really there's not a whole lot of fretting going on here. It's just the middle finger that's kind of dancing around the fourth string and the third string. Watch this. Look at my left hand. Uh, measure 26. Watch this. I do a pull off. Right? And then measure 27. Same as measure 25. 
And then we do a slide, same slide we've been doing all throughout this song, with a pinch. We're pinching the first string and the third string simultaneously. Now we're going to play measure 29. This is I hope. That's a big slide. We're sliding from the, four, from the second fret of the fourth string all the way up to that fifth fret. So it's got to be done kind of quickly. Watch this. That wasn't quite right, but let's do it again. Hope you had the... Now watch this. Measure 30. Oops. Notice I did a pull off here on that second fret third string. That's time. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the pull off. I, then I pluck that open first string and then I immediately have to fret that fourth fret fourth string. And I have this index finger down on that second fret third string at the same time. Those are the last, the last four, four notes of measure 30. And then boom, life. Now everything from here on out is really just a continuation of the guitar riff that opens up the song, which is basically, um, let me see, I'll play measure 30 on to the end. I've written an RIT above measure 38. That stands for retardando. You've probably seen that before if you've done any of our pop songs on Banjo Mountain. That just means a gradual slowing of the tempo right now. So, so we're slowing down as we finish measure 38 coming into measure 39, which is our index finger lightly touching the strings. This is called a harmonic. Okay, so we're not fretting the fretboard, we're just basically touching the strings with a feather light touch. We strum, and we are out of there. That's it. Time of your life.